What up, world? So here's the thing. Uh, it's about the afternoon, like 12 o'clock, and uh, I have not left the house. And it's not because I don't want to leave the house. It's not because, you know, like I'm sad and I'm just kind of chilling. It's because I don't have my car still. If you didn't see yesterday's video, you would know that um, I put my car into the shop and we're still waiting. It should be done by today, hopefully. Hopefully. But we'll see. So until then, I'm here at home. I should probably go outside. It looks so nice out. And it's really, really boring in my own apartment. <laughs> I walked 4.4 miles, a long time, but it was amazing. And one of the biggest things I really saw or learned or meditated on as I was walking was this idea that I am steeped in my insecurities right now. I'm letting my insecurities take a hold of me and it's affecting just kind of my natural mental state and I have just have felt flat in the last few days just kind of not terrible but also just kind of not super energetic to take action in my life but i am not going to let that happen anymore because although i'm not perfect i am enough you know and that is something that's so beautiful i can get really hard on myself and get down on myself i can easily just take something super small and blow it out of proportions in ways in which cripple my action versus inspire me to take action. Recently, one of the biggest insecurities for me has been like, am I good enough at my job? Am I doing the right thing? You know, from switching from dancing to doing photos and videos and social media stuff, am I the right person for this? And or am I just kind of crafting this reality around myself that isn't actually true? And I'm actually just awful at this whole thing. And yeah, I just can get super scared and insecure about my skill level and if I am good enough for what I'm doing. It's easy for me just to spiral down and build off of those insecurities and add more insecurities and more negative questions and thoughts and yeah it just can get to a place where i come to a point where i'm like i don't even know what to do i get anxious and then i'm just like in my house like oh and also just being stuck at my house with no car can be difficult for me i feel like i can't get out but Taking this walk, it allowed me to just quiet down the craziness of life and the negative thoughts and be able to fill myself with dreams and to be able to pray and to dream about what is next for me and also remind myself where I have been, you know, and remind myself where I've grown and where I can continue to grow in healthy, amazing ways. guys. I'm so grateful that you got to watch this video. I make a podcast every single day and today I'm gonna to be talking way more in depth about my insecurities and just kind of things I've been feeling and talking about. So if you wanna to listen to that and just go more in depth with my life and the kind of conversation that I had to myself really on my walk, please go listen to it, it's linked down below. I make videos and podcasts every single day. So please subscribe and like because I make videos and I want you to see them. So I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next episode of Understanding Adulthood, Peace and Love.